So what's up guys, my name is Ash and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel today. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day so far and it's been quite a while since we've said that because obviously I've been absent from this website for so long now and uh, it's all going to make sense in this video because it actually all links together. Like I haven't just been gone because I can't be bothered to upload, it's uh, because I hate this game. You know, I've been asked by my friends a couple of times saying, you know, why aren't you posting, you know, like you've got a good following, you know, you could make a bit of money on the side during quarantine and uh, like to me this really isn't all about that like if I'm not having fun doing something I'm not going to do it no matter what it is uh, I know some people class this as a job but that's not what it is to me I want to post things that I'm passionate about and things that have a meaning uh, to me on my channel. Now I know you guys have seen some background footage This was actually filmed earlier today and I'm playing in a very particular way just to expose a few certain aspects of people's games Like I'm not keeping possession deliberately to try and win like at this point I accepted my weekend was over all right Like uh, I don't know if you guys know this you probably don't unless you follow me on Twitter Which you can go and do if you would like to uh, you would know I'm going 10 and 6 at this moment in time, which is actually atrocious for me. Last weekend was my first weekend league in a few months, and with Stoichkov up top and like base Dembele and a full, you know, gold La Liga defense, I managed to go 23 and 6, and I didn't play my last game. And that was my first weekend back in a while. But this weekend we're going 10 and 6, and um, you know a couple of the losses were fair. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna dispute those. Like I lost fairly to some people, but uh, the the <laughs> the past three games uh, I conceded a 120th minute goal to someone that had two shots on target, and uh, I DC'd in the other one, and on the <laughs> on the last one I was winning 2 0 and my friend was in the party, and I got blue screened. So it's like yeah, you're just not meant to win. So at this point I was just trying to gather evidence for what I'm talking about in this video. Now you can see right off the bat I was doing just a lot of jogging around and just pa like back passing because I want you to pay attention to the players that my opponent is controlling. This probably isn't the best example but you will notice he's barely ever pressing me and he's barely ever trying to actually win the ball back from me. It's quite a common theme with this FIFA title where people will just hold on to one of their midfielders and just run around in circles trying to block off the occasion occasional pass without really doing anything because the computer will sometimes just stick a leg out and win the ball back for you without you actually controlling the player. So a lot of people just do that and it makes for a very boring playing experience because you know quite often they'll just dump everyone behind the ball, control a midfielder, not actually run at you and try and win the ball back and you're just literally running at two banks of four uh, with a guy trying to block off your pass like they're not actually you know, pushing to win the ball back. And this happens even at nil-nil. So it's like, it almost feels like the person isn't playing to win the game. They're playing not to lose. I get that people care about winning and not losing and stuff. And I know weekend league, you can take your gamble on penalties and stuff if that's really how you want to play. But at the end of the day, this is meant to be a bit of fun. I know this is their competitive game mode, but uh, at this point, is this game really classed as competitive? Like seriously, 130 and O's in the PS4 leaderboards. Uh, people getting 30 and 0 and not even, you know, getting top 100, like, that's not a competitive mode, I'm sorry, not that many people would get 30 and 0 if this is a true competitive mode. This is what I was trying to expose in my video, even at 1-0, where I'm beating this guy, he's not actively trying to win the ball back and score a goal, he's just sitting off, and I don't understand it, it's almost like these people don't have a grasp of you know how to defend in this game without letting someone else do do it for them because like it doesn't make sense to me let's say your team's losing 1-0 in a football game you wouldn't just want to sit off and hold off and just pray that you get a chance you'd actively try and press to get that chance and like especially in FIFA when games aren't actually 90 minutes long and you're playing like six minute halves I don't really understand why people would play like this like I know I probably shouldn't be complaining when I'm winning but it's even more annoying because it's like you don't even have a reason to be doing this at this point now if you're watching this game and you're thinking I'm being a bit hypocritical with the way I'm controlling my players yes I am controlling my midfielders yes I am tracking passes yes I am tracking players runs that's not what I'm talking about I'm talking about the people that literally don't make a move at all sometimes when I see a chance I will press someone and I will take the ball off them obviously you can't constantly press someone because that's just going to knock your players out and you're going to leave gaps but I'm talking about the people that literally never go for it I was standing still with the ball and just 
jogging on the spot and he didn't go for it. He was still moving around thinking I was going to pass it. It's like, this is such a negative mindset and I don't understand why people have it. Now, it's important I say that when you're one or two goals up and you're playing a bit more of a defensive game, that's absolutely fine. Of course you're going to drop off a bit. Of course you're going to sit back deeper. Of course you're just going to like track passes so you don't pull players out. That's fine. I'm talking about people that do it from minute one at nil-nil with no intention to go forward and score. All they want to do is keep you you out and maybe nick a chance if they can get it like it's not fun weekend league i can understand people don't want to concede and don't want to lose but when it happens in division rivals that's when i have a bit more of an issue because it's like what are you doing this for like you get more points from losing a rivals game 4-3 than you would for winning at 1-0 who cares about your skill rating like if you drop down a division good for you you're probably gonna have more fun and get more points in the long run anyway and you just get your skill rating back so like i really don't understand now take a look at this clip from Rivals. I was doing icon swaps and this clip alone speaks for itself. It's pretty funny actually. Idiot. <laughs> what? He was AI defending, so I stood still and he stood still with his defender and I just passed it through and scored. <laughs> Now, first thing I'd like to address is the dab after I scored the goal. Now, I know a lot of people get extremely triggered at anybody that dabs or shushes, but uh, I literally did this because this guy was clearly set out to annoy me. I stopped moving my player, and he stopped moving. He thought he was being smart, and uh, he paid the price for it. But, like, you know, when people annoy you, you're allowed to annoy them back. Like, he was being irritating. He knew what he was doing. He deliberately didn't control his player. Let's watch this clip back again together and dismantle it so I can really explain my point. So in this game clip, you can quite literally see the player that I'm controlling is Blanc and I have the ball. Now look at who he is controlling. He's controlling someone that is nowhere near me. He has no intention of trying to get the ball off me. Look at him. He's just standing there, just standing still. There's three players in front of him which he could control and win the ball back off me with. But he doesn't do that. And when I stop still, he thinks I've stopped playing and I just pass it through and score. Like, these are the types of people that need to be stopped on this game. I don't understand the mindset. Like, you're meant to have fun. Like, surely... Surely just standing there, moving your analog stick about, doing nothing, is not fun for these people. And in Division Rivals, like, the game mode's bad enough. Why would you punish yourself doing that? Just go and get a goal. Like, play a bit more attacking. Play a bit more aggressive. Because if you lose, who cares? It's Rivals. Weekend League, I've said before. You know, I can understand it. You don't want to lose, and you need good rewards for tots. I completely understand that. But Division Rivals, I literally said, you get way more points for losing 4-3 than you would for winning 1-0. So, like, why are you even playing like this? And to top it off, these are usually the types of players that also like to play with possession as well when they win the ball back and this is like a double whammy this is even more annoying because not only can you not break them down because you know they don't allow you to because they're just standing there and letting the computer do the work when they win the ball back they're literally passing it around for a full half even when they're when they're not winning so like it's literally unwinnable sometimes in a game because there's six minute halves right in real football when you're passing it round and keeping control of the ball it makes perfect sense because you know you've got to play for 90 minutes it's impossible to run like all guns blazing at their goal for 90 like that would be impossible but it's fifa it's not real life let's say somebody's keeping control of the ball for three real minutes and they're just passing it around the back that's a quarter of the game gone i don't understand how this can be fun because if you're spending a whole fifa game chasing someone Where's the fun aspect to it? You want to be creating chances, scoring fun goals, and you just can't do that with the way people are on this game. Now, I know in this video you are seeing me keep the ball, and that is purely for the purpose of this video, because it allows me to show you how broken keeping the ball is, because this guy hasn't even had a shot in the game at this point, and it also lets me show you how people defend and how they don't actually try and tackle you with the player they're controlling. Believe me when I say this, I had no fun playing this game. Like, this match right here, I didn't find it fun at all. Like, even when I was winning, it's just not fun because I can't do anything. I don't want to pass the ball around my back line. I want to be on the edge of the penalty area, creating chances, doing skill moves, and coming up with, you know, nice, intricate plays. I remember playing my first weekend league in months last week when I went 10-0 and at the start, and uh, I was just thinking to myself, 
this is no fun at all. Like, I'm winning. I'm beating everyone. But I'm not enjoying myself. Like, as broken as FIFA 19 and arguably 18 were, at least you could go and attack. Like, even 19, if somebody's putting everyone behind the ball, at least I can just do a stupid tornado cross and score or just bang a finesse because at least then it stops them doing it. On this, they have no reason to stop because there's nothing to do against it. And so many people don't realize this. Yes, EA do a lot of things wrong. Yes, the servers suck. Yes, everything about this game is horrendous. Like we all understand that. Nobody's denying that. But the people playing the game also don't help the situation. If everybody was to stop playing drop back, if everybody was to stop controlling CDMs 90 minutes a game, you'd notice a bit more of a fun experience because there'd be more open games, more goals being scored, and, you know, just a bit more interesting plays going on, you know? FIFA has been driven into a competitive way ever since FIFA 17 when Foot Champions was introduced, and it's affected the mentality of 90% of players on this game because the way they play in Weekend League is the way they play in everything else. People will play like this in Draft, people will play like this in Rivals, people even play like it in Squad Battles. I mean, who remembers? Members before Weekend League, back on FIFA 15, I used to run a team with Yasin Shikawi up front and he was insane and I'd just spend my time, you know, trying to score skill goals because, you know, it was fun and I didn't really care about winning the game. As long as I scored a nice goal, I was satisfied, you know? What happened to that? What happened to people running Brazilian silver skill squads in Division 1 when that was meant to be the toughest division? Nobody cared. Literally nobody cared. And that's the way FIFA was meant to be. When did it turn into this competitive game? Like, if FIFA, you know, was in a right state to be competitive, you know, I wouldn't have a problem with it. But it's not. There's far too many flaws, far too much RNG going on in the game, you know? Um, and it just doesn't make for a fun experience when the whole of the game is based around a competitive play style and competitive game mode that, you know, you just can't even enjoy at this point. Even if you want to chill out and play a chill game mode, well guess what you can't because Rivals is sweaty and people your skill level all the time. Draft is full of sweats trying to get packs for packing tots. Foot Champions, well that one explains itself. And then you're left with online friendlies with no real purpose. You know, like what happened to daily knockout tournaments and gold cups where you just get a crappy little pack, but it was enough to motivate you to play, even with, you know, players that you wouldn't even use. Anyway, we're getting a little bit sidetracked, but the main point I was trying to make is this game has been ruined by the developers, of course, because EA are useless, and I'm pretty sure everybody in this community knows that by now, but it's also to do with the players and their, you know, desire to win every single game, no matter what the cost, even sacrificing their own sanity and, you know, fun at the same time. Now, that is pretty much it for the video, but uh, if you guys were to take one thing from this video, for me, it would be to reevaluate the situation and decide if playing like that is really worth it in the long run. This is a game that you're going to throw away at the end of the year. Well, not throw away, but you'll never play it again and nothing you've got will matter. It's just a game. So would you rather, you know, be bored and win a game or have fun and potentially lose a game, you know? But yeah, sorry if this video did come across as a bit ranty or just me hating on other people. That was not the case at all. I was just trying to explain, you know, how not everything is on EA. Some of it is on the community as well. And uh, I was just giving my honest opinion on why I don't really enjoy playing FIFA 20, especially like Weekend League and that. Pro clubs and co-op and stuff is still fun with friends, but, you know, I just really don't have much of a desire to play uh, in the Weekend League with how bad things are. But yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video, I would appreciate it if you could drop it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you are new so you never miss out on any videos like this one. And be sure to comment down below if there are any, you know, fun challenges or something that I can do because honestly at this point, I would rather play foot champions with a team of goalkeepers than play with a real team. And I'm not joking. So if you guys do want to see that, let me know and uh, I'll make it happen. But yeah, I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. And I will catch you all in the next upload. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you all later. Peace.